We have shown you some of the kids who are impacted by your donations, but we also wanna show you how your money is being put to work. New technology is revolutionizing the way that kids are, get help by doctors, and you won't believe the doors it is opening. KXY4's Caroline Rourke is working for you with how 3D printing is now saving lives. Caroline? Yeah, Nadine, when we first heard about 3D printing technology, we knew it was going to be cool, but not this cool. Look at this. This is a 3D human heart. This is actually Nate's heart, and you won't believe how this small thing changed his and his family's life. <laughs> We adopted Nate in August of 2014. He was about two and a half at the time. The newest member of the Powers family came to them from Mongolia, bringing all the joys of having a new baby, but also something else. Nate was born with a congenital heart defect. He'd run around the house, be short of breath after not, not really much exercise. It was very complicated. Uh, his aorta was far removed from the left ventricle, which it's supposed to be attached to. On top of that, he had severe narrowing underneath his pulmonary valve called pulmonary stenosis, and we need to determine what's the best and safest way to move forward with him. A complicated condition calling for a complicated plan. I think they were at a dilemma point. They weren't sure exactly what to do. But new technology gave them an idea. Dr. Garavedian brought it to us as the best decision to have a 3D model made. We were kind of like, wow, really? We can do that? Or it can be done? You might have heard of 3D printers being used to make car parts or tools, even food. But think of the advancements it can make in hospitals for kids just like Nate. Our surgeons are very smart people. But at times it's not the best idea to make a decision on the fly with a child in the operating room with their chest open. These doctors don't get to make mistakes. Practice, in this case, makes a life-saving difference. On the medical side, it's allowing for complex surgeries to be approached that never would have been approached before. In the past, you could say, oh, we made that part on this car. But in the 3D printing in the medical space, I'm able to tell them, you know what? We saved this kid's life today. It's really wonderful to be a part of that. Nate had what's called a Rostelli operation, a safer surgery alternative made possible by the 3D heart. He's now five years old after he's had his surgery and um, doing well. He's always talking. <laughs> Nate has an excellent prognosis at this point. Uh, his heart has been completely repaired, and the way that his heart is at this point can really last him for the rest of his life. Feel your heart beating? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> a happy ending made real by people just like you. And the staff here and the Children's Miracle Network team and just people who have donated funds to make that a reality. And for our family, what a gift that is to us um, as a family and just to Nate too. And if you think it doesn't get cooler, it does. This is Noah's heart. Now, we introduced you to Noah last year. He was born with four heart defects, and when he was born, his heart was roughly the size of a walnut. But 3D printing technology allowed them to enlarge the heart so surgeons could really make sure they knew what they were doing before they went in there to save him. Really, really cool stuff here, Nadine, just about how you and your donations can make a difference every day in lives like Nate's and Noah's right here in our community. Reporting live from Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, Caroline Rourke, Kick, so I for News. Oh, Caroline. Thank you for showing us that. And now this is where we ask you to help. There is still